Happy Sunday, everybody. Night of Insomnia here. Today we're going to be playing Double Finds Broken Age. Um, it's, it's a Tim Schafer point-and-click adventure. It was kick-started. Um, I believe they asked for a couple hundred thousand dollars. Uh, however, it made over three million dollars. So, um, without further ado, I want to get started. See how good this game is. It has good reviews. A lot of people liked it, and I, I think I will too. I, you know what? I liked. There was actually one point-and-click adventure that um, that I loved, which was uh, Blazing Dragons. No one else loved it but me, but I hope this is... That's Ever since then, I loved point-and-click adventures, especially Walking Dead, too. Okay. Start with the guy. and shines, son. Huh? Better get up. I'm almost off duty. Mom's gonna be here soon and you know how she is. Oops. Here she comes. Have a great day. That's my boy. Oh, here comes your mother. Say nice mustache. Oh, computer. Snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. That's a mean, that's a mean sound? What if I turn you off? See hey, a drain in the floor easy, for that water. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Where's the Tinkle Fairy? Choco Rockets? Yikes, no way. Sure, what's the difference? What difference does it make? Uh, I'm gonna go with sure. They look pretty good. I like the background here. I believe it's hand painted. Uh, it looks really cool. Love the art style. Already. Sure. What difference does it make? I like that little thing on the side of the bowl to rest your spoon. Some good ideas here. Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Ooh, I got the spoon. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Once more into the Milky Breach! It's happening! It's really happening! Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? <laughs> that spoon okay, would computer. be annoying. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? First, shut up. Let's see, we need to help those avalanche victor victims, let's catch the runaway train, we have to defend the friendship circle, better suit up and investigate that foreign body. The avalanche looked like ice cream to me, so, um, 
So in that case, I'm gonna investigate the foreign body. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, we don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. So like a diaper. Just in case you uh, shit your pants. I thought it was bubble wrap. <laughs> and he has a scarf on. <laughs> okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. There's the moon. Woo! foreign body? <laughs> Looks like the fungus from The Last of Us, kind of. No, not really. I lied. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should that looks like a ball my sack. face right into it. Yikes, no way. 
Cinnamon, sure. Hmm. Why not? Yes, his life is so boring up there in a spaceship. Well, I guess there's no other humans around, so. It'd be like that movie Moon. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? I guess the last thing, Let's runaway catch train. That runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweet. Just like the ride in System Seven. Great Adventure. Steam right into his mouth. What's that, son? Did you say wake up the bridge man? That's such a good idea. Pooper. That guy looks really happy. Thanks for keeping it safe. A special nutrition paste for you today. Egg salad sandwich. Mm, sure. I like egg salad. <laughs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? Ugh. Gotta get out of this routine. Let's do another spacewalk. I could use a spacewalk, I guess. Okay. Watch out for that foreign body on the hull. Yeah, right. How about we cut the cord? The oxygen cord. Let's open this thing. I don't want to open it out here, just in case it's a puppy. A uh, good idea. Open up. Okay. This time, take it easy. Don't kick the ball sack. Come on. You're going to love this dinner. Pill. That was it. Come on. Brussels sprouts. Ew. Nobody likes those. Let's open this present. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Here we go again. I guess we'll go to the avalanche. avalanche I guess. In the mood for ice cream. Well, good. You're so skinny. Plot the course for Planet Galactica. He is pretty damn skinny. You're not gonna believe this, but... There was another ice cream avalanche? That fell weird. Another ice cream avalanche that fell in the same exact manner. Can I open this now? Come on, puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh look, it's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, hey. my collection. He heard you. Come on, Grab and Gary, be more fun. Hey, that's my you name. Can do it? <laughs> Can't you do anything except grab stuff? Aww. Oh, grabbing Gary. My name's Gary too. That's that's uh, Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. They don't call me grabbing Gary. It sounds like uh I don't know. Someone who goes go to jail for grabbing women. Can't you just 
just get stuck in mint chocolate chip? Who wants to eat strawberry every day? So brave, but you're still my precious little baby captain. Hey, any day without a real emergency is a good day, son. Very true. Rise and shine. Good morning, Shay. Shay, no. Yikes. No way. No. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good, computer. I need one of those vacuum things. That bike was yummy. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? I'd rather jump off a cliff than do this again. Uh, let's do the train wreck again. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you choose choo choose that one. To system seven. District nine. We're gonna crash into Spike Canyon! Wake up, Bridge Man! We're safe! Put your arms back in. Arms and legs always. Keep it on board. Didn't you read the sign? Broke his tooth again. He just got that fixed. Absolutely not. Except I didn't choose that, you dick. Check for the thorns. What are those little things? Looks like pieces of wood. Special nutrition paste for you today. Tater top flavor. I I I try it, you know. Who knows? Might taste good. Too many preservatives, though. Ugh. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Bet if I took a dive on one of these missions, that would change things. I thought he was going to say, I bet if I took a dump on one of these missions, that would change things, probably. A cuddle dungeon. Back to the cuddle dungeon. Why not? You know, if you need a hug, I could give you one. Gross. It's so fluffy! Shut it. What happened over here? Oh, that's one of those things. There's poor guy. Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. Fake. Is there anything that isn't fake here? I wouldn't sit in those beanbag chairs. I'm afraid they'd cuddle me. Get this over with. Looks like someone can't wait for their home. No, it's a smiley face up there. You're going to love this dinner pill. Gravity loaf. Mm, gravity loaf. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Pinch a loaf. On the right side. Every new day means a new chance to die on a runaway train. Fake train wreck, please. You choose that one. It's the only one. Of course you knew. Way to be. We're gonna crash Wake up, man. No, we're not. Now put your arms back in. Now look, I'm gonna do the wave. You can't stop me. Don't do it. Don't go through his teeth. Ah. Oh. Yes. Ah, oh, you suck. He 
looks happy. Looks like wood, see? Obviously, it's just getting you attuned to yeah, the game. That's the story of how you got here. Hey, were you even listening to me? Hey, who wants breakfast? Chocolate rockets? No. Yikes! No way. Simmons. No. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. No. No thanks, computer. Snappy bumps? No. Yuck. No, I hate that. Soylent dreams. <laughs> like Soylent Green. Soylent Green, the book or the movie. I wouldn't eat that because at the end you discover what those little pills the people in the movie were actually made out of. I won't tell you if you want to see the movie, but if you watch Toiling Green, you'll be surprised at the end of what's in the pills. Uh, no. No, not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. I'm gonna keep going. See what else I have. That sounds horrible. Brain blasters. Ugh! Take that away. Strawberry comet trails. That sounds kind of good. Please don't take this personally, but. No thanks. Whole green nutrient taste? Extra chewy, ew. Are you kidding? Gross. You hit munch. Yuck. Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime? Maybe. Look, it looks like a ball sack, does it not? Not to be lewd. But that's exactly what it looks like, and you know what this looks like. There's some. He needs to go to the doctor, apparently, see? I think I'm allergic to that, aren't I? Explore. Really? Splark? Is it my birthday or something? I think these robots wouldn't be able to make a mess all the time. I can't wait to be in your mouth again. Ew. Why? <laughs> What mission should we go on next, sweetie? I'd rather jump off a cliff than do this again. What? Is there anything else I can press? Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo choo choose that one. To System 7. I hear that spoon, guys. He said, I can't wait to be in your mouth again. Or something like that. I wonder what the actor. What if I just let it crash? What's that, son? Did you say wake up the bridge man? No. That's such a good idea. No, it's not. You can let go now. I got this. Yeah, let go. I wanna see what happens. Let go. I'm going to have to let go in a second. Okay, good. Give it a few more seconds. You can let go now. I got this. Wake up, bridge man. Okay. Now don't touch it anymore. What it back to sleep, bridge man. There we go. Yeah, yes. What are you thinking? You could have saved us so easily! I didn't want to be there! <laughs> As you get crushed on the, yeah, impaled on those things. Gargamel. Having fun? Yes, I am.
Mom. Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. He's a telepathy. No one. Hey! Wait! What? Mm, yes, I'm looking for no fun. No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. What about internal bleeding? I love you. <sighs> Annoying. Hey, mustache, how's it going? So you just have to think it? Weird. No missions. I can do... Anything. Whatever? Health stats 100% normal. As always, maybe I'm the robot. Why do computers need sleep? That's a good question. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yes, you don't need that right. anymore. If we have those. Missions cancelled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. But like I was saying before, I used to play this game when I was um, a child I called Blazing Dragons. I think there was a show um, in uh, England called Blazing Dragons, a cartoon, and then they made it into a game. I think J Terry Jones was the maker. Uh, it was a fun point-and-click adventure. It was on PlayStation 1. Oh, God, I used to play that all the time. No one else liked hmm. it but me, but... The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. But that game had a lot of good humor and voice acting. If you, if you ever have a chance, and if you like this game, Broken Age, go play Blazing Dragons. It's a little kitty, but it, it, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Some good puzzles. I haven't played it in a while, but as far as I remember, it's good puzzles. I actually miss it. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey! What are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. So like the Terminator, he's savior of the world. Okay, so there has to be another way, of course. Can't go that way. All right. It's that thing. Oh, right here. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. I like that fox. It works. Hmm. I would keep that thing. Why would you throw it somewhere? What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. Go. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? She didn't see that I was going through the vent. Okay, so this raft. Go faster. What are you doing out of bed, Buster? Ah, oh, you bitch. Excuse my French. All right, let's uh, can we 
inflate that raft with the air. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa! I knew. Like blow up doll of me. Creepy. All right. Now we know what to do. Reminds me when I was in high school. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Except I didn't go anywhere. I just put a blow doll on my bed and hid under the bed. Afraid of monsters, you know. Go! Faster! Now! Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. It's a really Sleep smart computer. Man, computers are stupid. That's, that's what I was saying, man. He's bad. Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna believe him. The creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But yes, we. We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she would never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear, so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. How's that wolf talking? It doesn't have a mouth. Question that plagues gamers for all eternity. Yes, he looks very trustworthy. Reminds me of the big bad wolf, but let's take a look around first. Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. I apologize. It's just that I build them myself, and I'm a little protective. Okay. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Okay, Paul Shitter. Excuse me, Merrick? What are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the Space Weaver right now. Is that like the Orb Weaver? Or the creator oh, in the matrix. Come to play with the space Where shall we go today, wise Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Okay, so I'll give you the map. Hey. Space Weaver, can you take me here? With pleasure. 
Yes, weave the coordinates. Looks like the space weaver has encoded the star chart into a graph of nuts and pearls. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, three, two, one. Looks like the space weaver has encoded the star chart into a graph of nits and Whoa, 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 uh, trippy. Now it's a dance party. Everybody make it in one piece. Great. Ludicrous speed. It's a reference to Spaceballs, if you don't know. If you've never seen that movie, please watch it. John Candy's funny. Everyone in that movie's funny. Negative. This door is locked. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't go through the door. You said return. Silly hey, me. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be made to serve your passage. Okay, Space Weaver. guys so that is where i'm gonna end it for um until next time i definitely want to play this game more I, I like it a lot it brings back nostalgic memories from playing blazing dragons uh, so i hope you enjoyed and if you did please uh, like and su subscribe and uh come back uh, next time um like i said be sure to subscribe so you know when my videos are going up um and i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching i'm night of insomnia and i'm out have a great weekend.